Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this particular video, I want to discuss scamming. Because I know scamming has been a big problem ever since World of Warcraft started. And it still is a big problem. And that's why it should be discussed. I've been scammed several times and I just want to share with you guys how I've been scammed just so you can avoid being scammed. So to really understand what a scam is, we need to ask ourselves the question, what is a scam? A scam is when a person is being dishonest with you and just want to make a profit. And just to be 100% clear, a scam doesn't always have to do with money. Maybe the scammer or hacker just want to get access to your account to ruin your achievement or competition within the game. So the first time I was scammed in World of Warcraft was back in Cataclysm when I played the most. And there was this guy who sold a spectral tiger for a very cheap amount for like 100k and I had 100k exactly so yeah I was very excited to buy it so I spoke to him and he said something like he had the card and he would redeem the code directly to me but I first had to disable my authenticator which is connected to my account and so I did and then I typed in my username and password to this website which then hacked me and there all my gold were gone another scan that's been going around a lot and has ever since World of Warcraft started are the goal sites when you use their services they may gain access to your account and this may lead to your account being banned or hacked. There is also this new scam going on. It takes place in the trade chat and it's about the battle net mounts that you can buy from Blizzard's official website. So what these hackers or scammers do is that they buy the mount for you with a hacked credit card. You get the mount in game everything seems perfect but then they'll cancel the payment and you will not get to keep the mount and nor the gold you paid for the mount so what can we now do to prevent this scam from happening you can avoid people who sell stuff at a very low price surprisingly low I mean uh, we should also Look at their level, if they're 90 they might be more trustworthy, more than a level 1 who just created their character with a completely random name. I'd like to end this video as I always do, but before I do that, I just want to say that in my previous video where I showed you how to maximize your profit per hour, um, where I said the potion of luck increases your chances of loot, it actually doesn't. It gives you a new loot. A plundered treasure it's called and in that container you may find raw materials and gold thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed please leave me a comment if you've ever been scammed also give me a like and subscribe I'll see you in the next one